Welcome back, everybody. Theater Supply has teamed up with the UK 1978 National Championship winning men's basketball team to help celebrate the 40th anniversary of the title. That's right. And you have a copy of the book that we're going to be talking about. That's right. Every person who purchases $100 worth of products from Theater Supply gets a copy of the book 40 Minutes to Glory, detailing the team's historic 1978 season and a chance to meet some of the players themselves like Kyle Macy and Jack Goose Givens, who we are so honored to have with us Thank today. You. Nice to be here. Welcome, Thank you for being you. here. I know Lee Cruz is at home right now furious oh, that he's not yeah, here to be with you guys. Here so bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. poor <laughs> thing, poor thing. But thank you both for being here. Thank you. So, so exciting. I mean, how excited are you guys to have this book out and just share the history of your team? Well, very excited, obviously. Um, it, it, I think Doug Brunk, who wrote the book, mm -hmm. probably put in about two years of uh, time yeah. collecting stories from all the players and coaches and managers, everybody he, who had he anything talked to do. just about everybody involved with this. He really did. Right, I mean, yeah. he didn't miss anyone. Uh, there were a few guys, obviously, uh, uh, Bill Kitely, who was obviously a big part of that team. We didn't get to talk to Bill, but pretty much everybody else he got uh, some quotes from. Yeah, and I think awesome. it's safe to say that that forty years later, you guys are still celebrating this <laughs> glorious achievement, right? <laughs> there was a lot of talk that year about the pressure, and we weren't having any fun. But it's been, like I said, forty years now, and to this day, and this weekend, especially or next weekend, especially, we'll have a lot more fun continues. So it's it's uh, it's been a great great time and great looking back and Haley you modeled that book so well she Thank does you. she does a Thank great you. job of that's why they brought me here today they're like Haley we have to show off a book we need you to come back from your sick bed so here I am 40 minutes to go and tell us a little bit about this book because I mean there's some some great stories in mm -hmm. it but there's some also some heart-wrenching moments in it too well you know I mean there have been other books put out mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but I don't know that there's been one done that really gets into that season quite like this one. Uh, and I mean that because they talk to everybody. And it's interesting, some of the managers, I mean, they're there every day, yeah. uh, and, and, and they hear things, and they see things that Mason and I may not want to share. Yeah. <laughs> now, they can share those things. And uh, so there are some funny stories. There are some stories about how the intensity of that season uh, the ebbs and flows. I mean, it was it was a, a stressful, tough time because we were number one all season long. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of pressure that goes along with that. So we talked about all of those kind of things. Yeah. Were there things, you know, I'm glad you touched on that. Were there things you guys read in the book once you saw it? You were like, I didn't know that happened from <laughs> people like the managers and things. Probably more so from the managers. Uh, yeah. you, you have a special relationship with the managers because yeah. even though they're not playing the games, they're there every day in practice and they're sometimes out beating you with the blocking dummies and those type of things. Thing. So through that relationship, just to hear their view of some different things that happen as opposed to players' views. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Mike, Mike Murphy, one of the uh, managers on that team, and he was kind of one of those uh, football dummy specialists uh, because they would just <laughs> beat us down with those things. And I think one time Mike Phillips got so upset with him, Mike tackled him and took him down, and Murph limped off the floor oh. and almost quit being a manager. But he told he told that story. It was pretty funny. Yeah. And what's really cool is if you go out to this event at Theater Supply tomorrow, you're going to get a chance to talk to these gentlemen. They'll be there. They'll, they're going to be signing the books for everybody. Tell us a little bit about your involvement with this then. Well, um, you know, Theater Supply has been uh, awesome to come alongside us and be our title sponsors. We do have some other sponsors, um, folks, folks like, um, uh, you know, uh -huh. I, 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 uh -huh. went, I went, I went blank went on that, but my, my company, my company, uh, the Bowling Group is one yes. of our sponsors. We have uh, folks like um, uh, Malibu Jacks who okay. came along, yeah. uh, Wally uh, Langley is our friend there. So we've had a number of people come along uh, and, and help us out with this, but uh, Feeder Supply has been extra special. They bought a lot of the books. Mm -hmm. They're giving those books away. We're going to autograph those books. And uh, we'll be there, like you say, to talk to the folks who come in and spend a little money with them. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. Is it yeah. always nice to hear from fans that tell stories? You know, I remember that game. You know, it made such an impact on me. You know, it's amazing that 40 years now, and still when you're out in public a lot of times, they, they recall specific games and can tell you detailed information about those games that, that long ago, and they still recall. But, yeah, yeah what 1-3 to three on Southland Drive and 4-6 uh, to six on Richmond Road. Yeah, and, right. again, mm -hmm. I want to remind everybody that the point is if you spent $100, that at that 
that point, you'll be able to get a chance to get the book. The yep. event, again, tomorrow, February 16th, players are going to be at Feeder Supply on Southland Drive from 1 until 3. And then at the Richmond Road location from 4 until 6. Gentlemen, it was such an honor to have you Thank with us today. Thank you so much. You're going to have a long, busy day tomorrow, it's safe to say. Well, it'll be fun. Yeah. It is going to be fun. fun. Yes. <laughs> All right, everybody, stick with us. Coming up, it is time to dance your heart out. We're talking about UK's Dance Blue Dance Marathon when we come right back.